Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey. Better not as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman Cinema Sit Down. Damn, man, I tell it, I swear, this movie, I cannot keep my freaking hands steady. I got so much excitement. Uh, for me, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's back here. It's number six uh, for me so far. This movie just, oh, you know, it, it does it for me, you know. Uh, but I've got a buddy with me today. It's his first viewing, which is why I'm talking to you right now. So I'm gonna bring you some spoiler thoughts, but before we get there, I wanna know what he's thinking. So uh, why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat. We are fresh out the theater at Garden State Plaza in New Jersey after seeing the Batman and let me bring in my man Mr. Brian BP what's up my man what's up yeah Good right, right, over, right over here there Good we to go see you yes uh, do me a favor throw up like a like a thumb like give me a thumbs up do you guys do you guys recognize that face that right there that right there is number three on the C maniac meter BP, it is good to have you here with me, man. Oh, man. First, glad to be a part of this first show. First C maniac to ever actually be on a review. <laughs> um, so I, I, I've been asking everybody I take the same questions. First and foremost, and we can talk spoilers. What did you think of the movie? I, I like I said in the theater, and it, when it ended, I was just no words, speechless. Like amazing is an understatement. The shit was stuff was bananas, <laughs> bananas. B a n a n a s. I was just when I'm sitting there, like when I'm sm I have a smile on my face from like the action and the acting and everything like that. Like it's just true enjoyment. It's top to bottom, start to finish. I was worried about not being able to sit still for three hours because I cannot sit still for the life of me, the people that know me. But it, it went by like that, and it was just amazing. Everybody was amazing in that movie. Colin Farrell, Penguin, I kept forgetting that was even him. He's a legacy anyway, but now his status is elevated. Robert Pattinson, forget about Twilight. He's the Batman. <laughs> I got to tell you. You know when a C maniac shows up because my man knows how to talk about a movie. Yes, That's, those are some of the best thoughts I've gotten out of anybody yet. All right, yes, sir. so now. Question number two, favorite moment of the film? And it can be multiple moments. It's hard to pick because there's so many. <laughs> right, all right, so let's see. Favorite moment, I mean, this is not gonna be in order, but let's see, right at the end when they're in the garden and then he jumps on the top of the scoreboard and how many, it's the core strength that he has to hold on like that. And then, he, but actually before that, he comes crashing in when all the, the, the shooters are all in there. Oh, yeah. He's crashing in, right, yeah. holds on, and then he takes everybody out. Saving Catwoman a million times. I love you, Zoe Kravitz. What's up? I love you. <laughs> Hit me up. Let me know. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What, oh, the, the chase scene when he's chasing the penguin. The, the Batmobile? What? The Batmobile? How badass is the Batmobile as a muscle and, and car? And that whole... Amazing. Right? Like, yeah. The fact that people even thought the muscle car was a bad idea. No. No. You, now I told you, you we need to... He's ramming him over. He's just ramming him. <laughs> and then through the fire. You knew he was going to come out. I, oh, absolutely. I told you. I told you, though. We had to be an IMAX Golby because that sound. I what does that sound like, right? I was moving. I was moving. You, you feel it in your core. <laughs> you feel it in your soul. Yeah. Uh, the Batmobile needs to have a pop like that. So I, I'm with you on both those moments. And good driving by the Penguin. Give him credit. He yeah. almost, almost threw him off. He had a nice car himself, too. That's you know? very true. I don't know what kind of car it was, but... All right, BP. It's, it's, it's the time. We're about to put you up underneath yourself here. I need to know. Get those Sea Maniacs up. What are we giving the Batman out of five Sea Maniacs? It's got to be five. Oh, 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 oh that is a, they're, they're, even you Don't talk to me if it's not. Don't even talk to me if it's not. You don't know. Yeah. A movie and a good flick. Five out of five. If there was a higher number, maybe we have to get more scenes. Can we get like bonus Sea sure, Maniacs? Sure, sure. Yeah, you want to get Seven bonus? Seven Sea Maniacs. Ten Sea Maniacs. Ten Sea... Wow. I've never had ten Sea Maniacs on the channel. That's maybe a new I'm one. Not a good, maybe I'm not a good I, enough review. Like, I mean, no, you know, man. You've been, you been crushing it. It's, it's good. It's good. No, I mean like my scoring. Man. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm too I'd easy. Give it, I'd I'm too give easy. It I mean, I'm the easiest they come. There's certain exceptions in the Batman is the exception. Well, you heard it here first, folks. If you don't like the Batman, you ain't giving it five. BP ain't talking to you. Going back to, to see you. it again. So, so. Going back to see you again. <laughs> uh, Jesse, my brother, you can't talk to BP, man. He, he ain't, ain't about that. All right, you got Brian's thoughts. Now I got to give you just a little bit of a spoiler tidbit for me. Last uh, video, we talked about how the, um, the voiceover is so important to the movie. It sets up Batman's whole arc, you know, the idea of being vengeance. And this is something I, I really liked watching the movie this time, a little thing that I noticed. At the beginning, when he's doing the voiceover talking about vengeance, he saves that dude from all of those guys. And that dude's first thing is to recoil when Batman looks at him and go, don't hurt me. You wanna talk about an arc? You get to that, got, you get to the voiceover we talked about at the end, where he's talking about being hope, being like a light and a beacon for the people and the city of Gotham. And what is going on? He's carrying a girl who's injured out of Gotham Square Park, or not Gotham Square Park, Gotham Square Garden. And he puts her down, 
And her first reaction is to grab onto him and hold on because she knows he's safe. That is like the stuff this movie is made of, man. It's why it's so awesome and why I love it so much. And I mean, I, it's just, there's so many things throughout this whole movie. But again, it, it, Pattinson's eyes, man, you just watch those eyes. Like when he, when the Riddler says, you know, he's talking about Bruce Wayne, you can see the fear in his eyes. It's one of the mistakes he makes, right? Like the reason he makes the big mistake, he doesn't see the plan for Gotham City and the bombs is because he thinks Riddler is on to him. The Riddler is going to unmask him, not unmask Gotham, and he pulls back, which leads to him missing some things, which leads to all the explosions, which we talked about when my parents were here. <laughs> when he was here, right? So, like, but when you watch Pattinson's eyes, man, it's just these little movements over here. Or I'll be looking down, and he's like, we got Bruce. We, Bruce Wayne's the only one we didn't get. And, like, the way he just looks up, and you can see, like, the surprise in his eyes. Oh, uh, everything about this movie is amazing. You know it's a five for me every single day. That's all we got, man. We're here more for, for other people's thoughts. You guys know mine. Um, so I want to give my man BP one more shout-out. Thanks for rolling with me, my man. Anytime. Had an I awesome time. You. Hey, thanks, man. You. That's right. See Maniac Nation. I'll, Give some love to BP down in the comments. Um, you know, that's it, man. That's all, we, I got, that's all we got. So now it's your turn. I want to know what you're thinking. Have you seen the Batman yet? What were your favorite moments? If you haven't seen, how many people do I got to bring to the movie theater to get you to go see the Batman? Everything you got. Good, bad, gonna indifferent. I've go seeing this too many times. <laughs> down too below. Many times. I love that we got someone who wants to see it multiple times. I may see it again. I mean, I wouldn't blame you. you. I'll, I'll go with I you again. Um, but yeah, all your comments go down below in the comments section. As always, if you enjoyed me and BP's thoughts, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new, you're not a C-Maniac yet. Press. Tell them they should be C-Maniacs. Get with it or get lost. You heard it right there, folks. Get with it or get lost. We love y'all, even if you don't hit that button. But if you do want to be a C-Maniac, you want to be part of the crew, you want to roll, you want to know what's going on, jump over there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time, for the C-Man's Cinema Sit Down. That's been C-Maniac BP. I've been the C-Man. We are signing off. Peace. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's going on? Uh, you must be sticking around because you're looking for more content feature than this guy. Well, guess what? You're in the right place. You can check out more videos right here and right here. Uh, and if you have and you want to come join that C-Maniac Nation, you can hit that subscribe right over there.